little cone here, cone on content, and all things digital. We're talking about digital. Look at this. We have Tony, social editor, editor of the guy at do digital out of homes.com. Do.com. You remember um, a few months ago, I mentioned their, their web presence and how cool the website looked. So now we got to bring them over here and talk about it. How's things? Well, Phil, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It's great to talk with you as always. Really a big fan of your videos, first of all. I've been a big fan of following them since the beginning. Um, <clears throat> things are going really well for us. You know, we've started to grow a little bit more. We've gotten a lot more traffic wait, coming wait, to the site. Wait, wait, let's go back to the point where you're telling me how good everything I'm doing is. <laughs> no, well, we could, spend, we could spend 20 minutes on that, but i got to talk to you too. Uh, no, but things are going really well for us. You know, the primary goal for us is to create an outward-facing portal, an educational piece where people who don't really know very much about the industry can kind of get up to speed real quick, find out what companies do, how pieces fit together so that they can get to a level where they can use do for their businesses. We've got some really good, let's call them web presences, newsletters. Mm -hmm. We've got um, the Daily Do. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Van Etten's clippings. Yep. And and I, I kind of refer to the Daily Do as breaking news. Sure. Or or commentary or uh, the the op ed page. Exactly. And then Van Etten's he kind of consolidates everything going on in the industry and puts it into a nice list. Yeah. What are you guys doing that's different or better? Sure, well we try to stay opinion free. Um, uh, we're building an educational portal, so it's not really focused too much on news and breaking stories, so much as it is just collecting what people have already written about the industry and putting it together in one place. All the content's vetted, it's opinion free, it's not promotional, just so that people can get up to speed about what's going on with content, what's going on with software, how does the screens fit in, okay. you know, and different okay. kind of trends like this. So it's not really supposed to be a newsletter type thing, it's just more about a place that people can go to kind of get up to speed. Um, we've got listings so companies can find other companies pretty quickly and fast. Um, we've got articles. I blog a little bit on the side, but it's just kind of you know more about just a, some of the things that are going on, some trends and things like that. So it's not really uh, a type of everyday type thing. It's more of an educational portal okay, I get it. facing outward. Um, now yeah, I know you're an editorial, not the publisher, but. I gotta wonder, how do you monetize this? Sure, well we're looking to have um, well, ad support. Monetize, did you hear that? Monetize, that's not even a word, monetize. This is something that's sprung up since, I'm gonna say in the last 10 years. Yeah. You know, and, and I, if I would have said to somebody back in the 80s, monetize, all right, it would have been like I got surgerized. Yeah. Or, or uh, I don't even know. Now I'm saying the word. Uh, Anyway, go ahead. Well, I guess that's how language changes, but um, we're going to okay, monetize the site. Down with that. I know, I know. But we're going to monetize the site. We've got um, it's ad supported primarily, um, but because it's an outward facing portal, it's a really good opportunity for companies to gain a broader profile. Um, for people who are looking, maybe it's their first or second Google search, they see us, they come through, they're starting to make these connections at the beginning stages, way before the sales actually happen. So that's a pretty big advantage. We've also got upgraded listings for companies that want to have an even bigger profile. Um, those obviously cost money. Um, we've got sponsorship opportunities for our videos, for other things. So there's a bunch of little bits that kind of make up the whole revenue stream for us. Okay. Kind of going on there together. D-O-O-H dot com. Go ahead, take a look. <laughs> what do they call it? Navigate around. And just see what it's like. Right? And we can monetize as well. Phil, really appreciate it. it. Appreciate it.